Hey guys, welcome back to SVB Creative. Today I'll be showing you all how to attach sleeve as well as how to shape a ready-made kurti or salwar. So it's very uh, simple. I've made it as simple as possible. So first uh, take the salwar or uh, kurti uh, whichever you have uh, to attach sleeve. Just uh, place it on a floor or uh, just on top of a table wherever it is comfortable for you. First we need to take shoulder width. For that, take a top or silver, whichever is perfect fit for you and uh, just see the measurement. So, whatever the shoulder width is, just add half an inch to it. So, in my case, my shoulder width is 2 and I will be adding 2 plus half an inch, that is 2.5 inch. And um, just mark that measurement and draw the armhole, just uh, keeping the already... Uh, the armhole is there no just keep that as guideline and draw a curved line like so and there was a piping at the end so i have cut it out as close as possible uh, and we'll be using this piping uh, for the sleeves later on and cut out as per the mark marking is done no just cut out through that so make sure that armhole is as close uh, as possible it should not be very wide uh, because the fitting would be later on won't be that perfect so armhole should always be very close uh, it shouldn't be wide <laughs> so next take out the sleeve and uh, now we need to um, see the sleeves length so just take uh, um, your sleeves length and just add one and a half inch to it so one inch will be uh, to the one uh, end and uh, uh, the half an inch will be to the curved end okay so these are the extra uh, seam elements that which we are taking now uh, just place your kuti on top of uh, this uh, sleeves uh, just place that armhole and uh, keep that as guideline and draw the armhole so after that make a small cut at the middle part of the uh, sleeve where there is armhole and then just cut through the marking with that our sleeve is also done now uh, we need to attach piping to that for that before that we what we'll be doing is that we'll be folding uh, the uh, sleeve end and then we'll be keeping that piping so we just do not want to waste that piping that's the reason we'll be using it at the end of the sleeve so first i'll be showing you guys two ways wherein we can uh, attach this piping so first method is for someone who is little bit more uh, has more knowledge on stitching uh, who is who has little bit more practice in stitching so for them what they can do is just fold uh, your sleeve uh, just a bit and then one more time and uh, we have to place the piping in such a way that the when we look at the front side uh, when we look at the good uh, side the piping should be vis visible just like this now place both these together and just give a a stitch like so so this might be little difficult uh, because we will have to handle the uh, folded sleeve as well as piping together and uh, the pipings uh, uh, i mean the uh, bulging part should be only visible so just keep that in mind and uh, give a stitch and uh, just leave a quarter inch and give one more stitch just like so so this is done perfectly this is just just the perfect way and now if you are a beginner you you can go ahead and do like so just the way i'm doing right now just fold this uh, um, sleeve part and uh, once the stitching is done attach the piping uh, so just keep that piping and then give a stitch so the uh, um, the last time how we did is like we have kept the piping and the sleeves together and we have given a stitch in that way we can uh, just finish off the stitching in one go here we have already stitched uh, the sleeve and then we will be keeping the piping and uh, you guys can see it's just open right here so we will have to give the stitch once again over the stitch so we have already done a stitch over there so the problem is that there will be two stitches like so right so but then it, it won't be that uh, um, like um, i mean <laughs> it won't be it is not a big problem though but then i was just telling you guys there is two ways so whichever is which method is comfortable for you you guys can go ahead and do that now i'll be attaching the shoulder part together because we have cut out the um, hole from there so shoulder stitches will be gone so just make sure that it is stitch together and then we what we have to do is we have to keep the uh, kurta parts 
good side and the sleeves good side together exactly at the middle so that's the reason we have given a small cut in the middle part uh, of the sleeve and start the stitch from right there and just uh, when we reach at the end part make sure that you do not take the needle just uh, put up the footer and uh, just rotate the uh, cloth or kurti and then again uh, you start stitching so again when we reach at the end of the sleeve we will have to repeat the same just do not take the needle out but then just uh, put the footer up and uh, rotate the uh, kurti and again give us a uh, stitch when you reach at the middle part we can stop by giving a uh, uh, two three stitches with that uh, sleeves uh, stitching is done so in that in this way uh, in one go we can give two stitches in that way sleeves will be perfect uh, it uh, it wouldn't come off very easily and not just that in that in when, when we are uh, um, attaching sleeves in the, this way there is chances that it will go wrong uh, there is very less chance that it might go wrong so this is the uh, way i prefer attaching sleeves there are two three ways wherein we can attach sleeve so i prefer this one i feel that this is the best way a beginner can do uh, a beginner can attach sleeves so uh, please do try it out in this way guys uh, i'll be attaching sleeves in other ways in coming videos so that you guys can see the difference so with that with this uh, one uh, sleeves attachment is done so we can uh, do repeat the same for the other uh, sleeves as well just keep the good sides of kurti and sleeves together start from the middle uh, because we have already given a small cut for the sleeve so we, it's very easy for us to know uh, which part is middle for the sleeve and uh, just uh, start from there when you reach uh, at the end do not take the needle just uh, uh, i mean put this uh, footer up and rotate the sleeve and then again attach this uh, i mean again start stitching and repeat it till you Uh, reach the end and that's it we have attached the sleeves we will have to shape the kurti for that just place uh, a selwar or top which fits you perfectly on top of kurti and just mark uh, the uh, mark it as per the kurti's uh, measurement just like so and uh, just give a stitch over it and i mean one or two stitch over it and with that it's done i always prefer doing uh, taking measurement like this rather than taking measurements with a uh, tape and then marking it to my selwar um, this is an easier method for me and i feel this is the best method for beginner as well Uh, but then definitely in other videos i'll be showing you guys how to uh, take measurement uh, with the uh, measuring tape and then um, altering your selwar or kurti and whatever cloth is left just cut it off and with that it is done i really hope this video has been helpful for you all i, I know it's uh, uh, i mean i'm very poor at explaining things but i really hope uh, you guys have understood what i wanted to say so if you have liked this video please do give this video a big thumbs up as well as subscribe to this channel if you haven't already see you very soon in my next video till then it's bye bye take care love you all